Let's go with the dance. Fucking <laughs> shut up. <laughs> nearly there. We're nearly there. It's good. Yeah, can't complain. Life's good. All right, enough stalling. The AU Falcon is getting some. guys, welcome back to the start of another video. Pretty exciting one today. I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail and title. We've got some new wheels for the AU Falcon. But before we do that, we need to go and help a mate out. He just bought a new car and we're gonna try and help him out because the car that they bought has a few issues. Uh, you'll get to see what it is very soon. Hopefully with my limited car knowledge, we can, you know, try to fix this thing, but pretty pretty certain we can, we can do something about their issue. We'll find out soon. So we're here at Mike's house now, and we got all the boys. Hello, G'day. ladies. How are you? Fuck going on, you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. So I don't think are we supposed to reveal this now? Like, is this? Oh yeah. Is no, this a secret? Oh, it's his car. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's <laughs> not really a secret. So it's just you, like, okay. yeah, you can reveal it. I mean, I, I do eventually. <laughs> I do eventually want to like. Obviously, we got to fix it up, make it drivable first. But then, once that's done, then we'll go out and take photos of it. But here's the reveal <laughs> on Rex's yeah. channel. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got a really crunchy gearbox, and the short shifter that's in the car is sort of preventing them from being able to drive around because it's exa exactly the same situation with my car when I put the cube speed in. There was like a weird issue where you couldn't get the car into gear properly. But uh, Mike and Liam have bought Penrite Pro Gear 75W90, which should do the job. I also reckon that it could be the master clutch cylinder that might be causing the issue of why he can't get the car into gear but I guess we'll uh, see what happens when we try bleed it as well right. Got the shaft exposed thanks yeah. to Mike exploring the shaft I'm not, I don't want to shit on cube speed, but they make pretty bad shifters for O154. They provide Allen key bolts as well for holding the shifter down in place. And it looks like the person who put this on put it on really tight. So we gotta we gotta drill it out. There you go. Got it. Yep. Go. Cube speed. Cube speed zero. The boys one. <laughs> Nearly there. We're nearly there. You wanna come join me, Liam? Oh, mate. <laughs> you know I'd love to. <laughs> We're trying to remove the bottom bit of the shifter. This is where uh, the shifter connects to the rest of the gearbox. It's two 12 millimeters. Oh, and you gotta remove like another boot out the way. And then once you do that, should you slide on it. Alright, so you just gotta get spicy with your fingers. And you get your hand there and you, you turn the bolt. Oh, yeah. You've just, done this before, haven't you? I have done it many times. Cheeky dog. Yes. Oh, almost. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He just goes, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the. Oh, we got one. Hey, yeah. did you get the spot? I mean, the, the I, I got, I got the, the, the bolt. Ah. Oh, there it is. Nice. We discovered something that is a little bit unfortunate. The shifter that uh, was given to Liam. It should look like this. It should look like that. But it's actually like this. <laughs> and there's no thread or anything. It's literally just broken. So that is not good. What we're going to do in the meantime is just glue it together to see if we can fix it so we can actually get the car on the road driving. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then... I don't know. Stay figure it out. House. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got on your finger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put it all over there. All the contact. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just clap to see if that would flip it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check the fluid. If the fluid is really dark, it means that's kind of good because that means that the new fluid will uh, potentially fix the car. But if it is clear, it might mean that it's just been changed and the gearbox could be screwed. Yeah, so, and the guy said he just changed it. He could have been lying. So yeah, this car's a bit of a game of Chinese whispers. So we bought it off a friend of a friend, but the friend of a friend doesn't know that we bought it. He thinks he sold it to his mate for a good price, but then he's then unsold it to us for a good price. So this original dude, <laughs> that we've been going and picking out parts from thinks that he sold it to his other mate and we have to go on there on behalf of him and be like oh hey we've our mates asking for parts like what do you think and then yeah it's really hard <laughs> feels like we're cheating <laughs> that's what it feels like you just go behind someone's back it wasn't the transmission fluid that was the problem or well, maybe the car's fucked <laughs> we'll see this is a fucking workout my triceps are pumping i'm just waiting for this fluid to start spilling out that's it but uh yeah i mean 
good view. Got the uh, spider webs up here. Got a bit of fluid that's about to leak into my eye. It's good, you know. Can't complain. Life's good. Pretty much done now. The car, it's been the clutch has been bled, got a new shifter in, changed the fluid as well. It's all ready to go. We're gonna take it for a drive around the block. Hopefully, it's all good. I'm excited. Uh, second gear ready. Oh, that is so much better. <laughs> what the fuck? At least, at least it's better. Yeah. Bro, that is like. Take a right or something down here. That is so much better. Oh, it's going better now. I think it's just yeah. taking, it needs time to warm up and then it should be mint. It. Yes. Boom. Yeah, yeah this feels like ready. <laughs> like good? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Way it's better. Cool. Like, it's, it is still a bit hard. Yeah. But it's like nowhere near as hard as it was. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Twin plate life. Okay guys, welcome back. We finally are home and we're ready to reveal the wheels that we got for the AU Falcon. I feel like I've been teasing this quite a lot on the socials, my Instagram and all that. You can follow it right here. And I'm going to give you guys a chance to guess it before we reveal them. So leave your comments below now on what you think we bought. I'm going to give you one clue. Are you ready for this? Yeah, bud. That's all you get. <laughs> I'm sure most of you already know what we got, but it's time to do the reveal. Now, I could have put any wheels on this thing. It is 114.3 by 5, so it's a very common uh, PCD pattern for wheels across JDM cars and all that. And a lot of the guys were like, oh, why don't you put your Blitz wheels on the Chaser on the AE Falcon? I feel like that would piss a lot of people off, but do that eventually, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> all right, enough stalling, enough stalling. The AU Falcon is getting some, yeah, bud. Simmons! <laughs> yeah, bud! So we got some Simmons! Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> Look, honestly, I never thought I'd own a set of these wheels, but here I am and I own them. <laughs> Don't even know what to say. The first thing I'm gonna do is talk about what they are, why I bought them, and the joke behind them, because there is a definite meme behind Simmons wheels. So, first thing, let's talk about what these are. These are Simmons FR1s. We got the gunmetal gray color. A very nice finish, actually. I'm surprised how good these actually look in person. When I was flicking through Gumtree, I was like, oh, these look kind of good. And then I saw this, and I was like, oh, shit, they're Simmons. Yeah, they're an FR1 wheel. So the specs on these are 18 by 9.5, so they're actually very big. Honestly, a bit too big for our application, maybe. I don't know. It's also got an offset of ET0, which is super strange. I've never heard of a wheel with ET0. So it's got the offset right in the middle of the wheel. And we have test fitted these on, so they do fit. And of course, we'll be fitting them again in today's video. So you get to see what they look like on the AU Falcon. Yeah, honestly, not too bad. Now, the next reason why I bought these wheels is because it's just part of the culture. You know, when you have an Australian vehicle, you know, when you have a Ford or a Holden, it's just it's just what you got to buy. You, you, you can't choose any other wheel. You got to get a yeah, bud, Simmons. You go to a car meet, you see a hole in, yeah, bud. You see a Ford, yeah, bud. You see a Holden and a Ford together. Yeah, bud, yeah, bud. Okay, I bought them for more than that reason. Like, they're honestly like a not too bad looking wheel for the car. And they are a good size. They're 18 inch, which is, which is already bigger than the Chaser. And that's what we need to do for the Chaser eventually. Anyway, let me explain the joke behind them. So, pretty sure how this joke started was because when you go to a car meet, like I said, you know, you point out a wheel and yeah, bud, they're Simmons. Like, every single wheel at a car meet in Australia on it, when it's on a Ford or a Holden, it's always a Simmons wheel. So, I guess it just became a meme, you know, because everyone runs these wheels and I've now joined part of that, that gang. I don't know how I feel about it, but it is what it is at this point. I've already committed too hard. I already bought an AU Falcon and Simmons, so I feel like I'm really a part of this uh, crew right now. So goodbye, JDM. Honestly, though, they're actually a good looking wheel when they're not 22 inches and gold because that seems to be the color and size choice of the wheels that everyone seems to run on these things. Like the rule with Simmons is like you got to put the biggest set that you could fit under your arch. I don't get that. I just want to stick with 18s, but people just want to put like, you know, freaking 30 inch wheels on their car. So, but yeah, they're actually a good looking wheel. Yeah, they look, look very nice. Let's roll the cinematic. We finally have the wheels on. Are you ready for the big reveal? Dude, it actually looks sick. I am so happy with this. Are you ready? Dude, oh my God. That is freaking sick. That looks so good. The fitment is just so perfect. That's what really makes it. 
Like, I just got the perfect amount of poke right now. Literally, like, the, the, the fitment is mint. The fitment on the front is very, very aggressive, but that's okay because we're gonna be changing that with a lot of camber for that drift spec, that drift stance. Oh my God, man, Ashley looks so good. I'm so happy with this. It looks sick. Just have a look at that, man. Yeah, bud, Simmons. So yeah, I guess from here on. I do have to change them again and put the other wheels on because we need to take this thing to Vic Roads and the specs are a little bit too obnoxious to be able to take there and pass an inspection there, but we will have to take them off again. But in the meantime, we'll roll around like this for the next like day or so before we do that. It looks so good. No exaggeration. This is definitely the right color choice for a white AU Falcon if you want to get yeah, buds. Look at that. Man, this fitment is so aggressive. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So those are the new wheels for the Falcon. Got some Yearbud Simmons FR1 gunmetal, 18 by 9.5, and I've got a 255 tire on there right now. So we're definitely have to gonna change that down the line. But yeah, there you go. Super happy with these. They look sick. I'm very happy with them. I'm very impressed with how these ones look specifically, considering being a meme wheel that a lot of people run. They look they look really good in 18s. Whoa, whoa. Dang it. The weather's taken a little bit of a turn to the dark side, so can't really do, do much else to the Falcon. So I'm going to conclude today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are killing it with clicking on these Falcon videos. It seems like this was the right choice for the channel. So yeah, well, we've got a whole bunch of plans on the way. Like I've literally got parts sitting in my room right now. So yeah, I'm keen to install everything and yeah just need to get the car registered sucks that we're in lockdown but we'll sort it out thank you guys so much for watching talk to you later go follow me on tiktok got some surprises coming there <laughs> catch you guys later side there see where all those gaps are oh, you can like get right in there imagine bringing a chick home and pulling that tub out you can't put that on your channel can you <laughs>